Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to uh, thank to Kari and uh, the President and Vice President of the institution uh, for all their efforts for uh, making this meeting possible. I also thank to my thank my colleagues from Mexico, Korea, Australia, and Indonesia uh, for uh, their efforts in uh, forming this. Uh, group of uh, MICTA from the uh, from this side of the table we insist saying that it is MICTA but when you look at us from the other side of the table you read us rather MICTAI but we will insist on saying that this is actually not MICTAI but MICTA uh, my colleagues have already expressed their uh, views and uh, opinion regarding the group and their, uh, their ideas about how they uh, look at the issue and the, the informal group of MICTA. Therefore, I would, uh, in this respect, take uh, some of your time uh, and ask your patience uh, to express a few words about uh, Turkey, about Turkish policy, foreign policy, and its interest in this part of the world, namely Latin America and the Caribbean region. Turkey harnesses its unique historical, cultural, and geographical assets in pursuing an effective and multidimensional foreign policy. <coughs> it's developing economic capacity and a visionary approach and demonstrative strong political will help in this respect. Consequently, Turkey was able to strengthen its position as a center for democracy, prosperity, and stability. Thanks to its increasing and diversifying instruments in foreign policy, in line with its economic development, Turkey has been enhancing its relations and increasing its endeavors in the regions once called distant geographies. It also makes active contributions and participates in efforts aimed at maintaining peace, stability, cultural cohesion, and welfare on a global scale. As a responsible stakeholder of the international community, Turkey actively participates in the implementation process of the Millennium Development Goals plays an active role in international platforms such as the UN, G20, NATO, OSCE, and SICA, and is now also cited as a rising donor country with its resolute stance to help eliminate humanitarian crisis in various parts of the world. Through the infrastructure projects carried out successfully in many countries, as well as through its humanitarian and development assistance, Turkey contributes to efforts for achieving sustainable development and of peace and stability in general. Turkey has developed policies of opening to Africa, Asia Pacific, and Latin America and the Caribbean. Turkey's relations with the countries of Latin America and the Caribbean, too, have gained momentum. Thanks to mutual efforts, trade volume with the countries of the region has exceeded 8 billion US dollars, increasing ninefold in the last decade. As part of our efforts to broaden our diplomatic network, we now maintain 12 missions in the region, including the newly opened embassies in Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, Panama, and the uh, Dominican Republic. Turkey's embassies in Costa Rica will soon become operational. In accordance with the steps taken to develop our international ties with the regional organizations, Turkey became a permanent observer to the organizations of American states, OAS, in 1999 to the Association of Caribbean States in 2000 
and most recently to Pacific Airlines in 2012. Turkey established consultation and cooperation mechanisms with the Southern Common Market, Mercosur, and the Caribbean Community in 2010 and 2011, respectively. Turkey also installed institutional relations with the community of Latin American and Caribbean states, CELAC, in 2013. Most recently, uh, we applied for observer status to the Central American Integration System, namely SICA. As a member of G20 and its next term president in 2015, Turkey thinks that MICTA platform has a real potential to act as a force for good in global affairs. MICTA informal foreign ministers meeting held on 13 and 14 April 2014 in Mexico City was highly fruitful and constructive. It is encouraging that our countries are fully engaged in taking forward this important initiative and advance a positive role for it within the international community. In Mexico City, all our ministers expressed clear political will to create more effective cooperation mechanisms within MICTA. This will give new impetus to our joint efforts for the future of the initiative. The matrix prepared by Mexico shows that this platform has great potential and we welcome it. Now we must look ahead at what we will put before our foreign ministers in New York and work on, the, on an action plan that is a message to be adopted by our ministers. As the Turkish foreign minister stated in Mexico, our initial priority should be to deepen the cooperation mechanisms between us. Connectivity and the mobility are key elements in this regard. We support including visa liberation, completion of free trade agreements, and civil aviation agreements between our countries in the action plan. Academic seminars, exchanges, in particular, <coughs> student exchanges are another element that we support. In terms of the substance of our dialogue, our main focal points will be the UN and G20 agendas. There is potential to enhance our coordination and exchanges in, those, in these two platforms. I must thank you at this point.